Look at those flowers, they're so beautiful. Oh, love on me. Hi everybody, I'm Michael, and in today's quick tips, we're gonna be talking about the beautiful yellow tab, this beauty behind us. So, are you all ready to dig in? Sure am, I'm on my mic. Let's, Let's grow! grow. The beautiful yellow tab goes by the botanical name Tabibuia tariba, but she's also gone by the name Tabibuia argentia. That's how I learned her name. And also she's gone by the name Tabibuia aurea. So enough already with the botanists. They keep changing the name of this poor plant, but she's commonly known as the yellow tab or the trumpet tree. She's native to South America and she'll get to about 20, 30 feet tall to about 25 feet wide. She can get a little bit taller, but she's normally in that range. And one thing that's really wild about this tree is that she has this very funky growth habit. Her branching will wiggle through the tree. It's pretty much amazing to see these trees up close. They look at these branching, they're just twisting and turning. Some of this is caused by storm events, but many times the trees will just grow this way. Just, just wild, looks like a cartoon tree. So cool. And the bark, the bark is really cool. It has these deep furrows and ridges. It looks you know, very corky-like. The leaves of the yellow tab are this silvery green and they're elliptical in shape. And the yellow tab will tend to drop these leaves right before she starts to flower. And speaking of flower, let's go into the main feature about this tree. These beautiful yellow flowers are incredible to see. They're flowering right now. It's late April and they are flowering everywhere in South Florida. It's really spectacular to see. She will take your breath away. I have been taking pictures of these over the years. Here are two that I had taken years ago. One on the left, I think I took 15 years ago, and this other one about five, six years ago. And when I was first hired right out of college at Stressall Smith and Stressall in Fort Lauderdale, we designed and had a lot of these installed at a lot of the homes at Windmill Ranch Estates and other Western homes. And because the yellow tab is medium in stature, she can be used in a wide array of outdoor spaces to help beautify and make them look special. For example, you could use them in a courtyard setting like this or have them frame an entrance into your garden. Now, one thing to know about this tree is that she can topple over in a big wind. And that's one of the reasons why some people are, are more shy on planting these, but there is a strategy to grow them. And I'll tell you about that now when we go into plant care. Okay, on plant care, I first wanna talk about how you can select a yellow tab for your garden. You wanna make sure you get a Florida number one or better, which means the tree is gonna look very good. It's not gonna have any pests. It's not gonna have a lot of damage to the trunk, but a Florida number one or a Florida fancy tree, which are the highest caliper trees that are for sale, you're gonna to wanna to also check the root structure. You're gonna to wanna to see if there's any circling roots in the pot of the tab that you're buying, because that can be a problem and that can cause these to tip over after you install them. Years later, they could tip over in a storm. Now, on planting these trees, I've used a strategy of putting these in a group like a triangle. That way they can share their roots and if a wind event happens, the trees will help support each other together and there's a less chance for them to tip over. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about where the yellow tab grows best in Florida. She grows best in zones 10A and 11. She does not like the cold. Now on to lighting. Your yellow tab is gonna want full sun or part sun. That's where she's gonna do the best. And when you get her started, you wanna water her three times a week to get established. But once she's established, she'll do fine. And you really don't need to water that much, only when needed. Now let's talk about fertilizer. I like using organic fertilizer. And in the first year, I like using a 444, Dr. Earth makes a good brand, or you can get some 666 or 101010 well-balanced fertilizer. Then in the following years, just for maintenance and helping to encourage blooms, I like using an organic 394 fertilizer. Dr. Earth makes one of those as well. But one thing you need to be very much aware of is that there are a lot of 
ordinances now on how to use fertilizer. So always check with your municipality on how you use your fertilizer. Now let's wind up the plant care with the last thing I wanna to talk to you all about, which are pests. This tree is really hardy. It doesn't really have a lot of pests, so you don't have to worry about that. These are tough. No real aphids or mealybugs or scale issues with the yellow tab. We hope this was informative to you. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Amy, Rachel, Stephanie, do you have any questions for me while we're here? What's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you. Join I'll us on our YouTube channel, Let's Grow, and I'll be there to say hi to you again another day. Nice. Um, I like blue, by the way, but I also love this color yellow. This I thought you was going to say yellow. yellow. Beautiful. Beautiful yellow. All right, until next video, bye. bye. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family. We post videos weekly. Thanks. Look at those flowers, they're so beautiful. Oh, love them.